Let's go. Hey everybody, Coach Scott here. And today I wanna to go off topic a little bit from health coaching to life coaching and tell you why I, I value experience over education. That's right, experience over education. I think it was Winston Churchill that said, personally, I'm always ready to learn, although I do not always like being taught. And it was John Updike that said that uh, the founding fathers, this is an interesting, very interesting quote he had. He said, in their wisdom, they decided that children were an unnatural strain on the family and on their parents. Huh, I don't get that one. But he said, so we provided jails called schools and equipped them with torture devices called education. Now again, I don't necessarily agree with that for sure. But Norman Douglas said, education is the state of controlled manufacture of echoes, of echoes. Uh, it was H.L. mentioned that said, school days, I believe, are the unhappiest uh, days in the human experience. And I think that's very sad. I know I experienced this myself because I wasn't a very good student. It wasn't because I didn't want to learn or didn't have the capacity to learn. It's just because the days are full of dull, unintelligible tasks many times. They're unpleasant. They're just these brutal uh, violations of even common sense at times. And so again, I understand what he's saying by that. Uh, Galileo said that you cannot teach a person anything. You can only help them find it within themselves. And I believe that that is so true is that we all have a seed of destiny in us. We all have a seed of greatness in us. Uh, and we, and there, just like there's a tree in every seed, there is destiny in every human. Uh, it was Albert Einstein, and we know, we've, you know, he's very noted on the struggles that he had in school, and it's one of the greatest minds that we've ever, we've ever seen. But Albert Einstein said there's too much education altogether, especially in schools. And again, I struggled in schools, uh, and many of you have struggled in school. Uh, and again, the, the, the current American school system uh, really did, didn't do me very well because again, it killed my spirit of, uh, of excitement and, and exploration. And I was, I was a boy, 100% boy, so I was uh, diagnosed with ADD. And so all these things, uh, you know, really began to stunt my educational pursuit. But it's one of the main reasons I became a teacher and a coach. But I wanna share something with you. Out of all my years of education, it's paled in comparison to the real life experience I've, see, I've received through just life itself. And I call that the tuition of life. So today I wanna to talk to you about what it really means to get experience over education, okay? Uh, and again, I understand a, a, a degree still remains uh, the entry criteria for most jobs and organizations, and I understand that. Uh, most people wanna see a degree, they wanna see some type of degree. Now, and I, especially if you're talking about in a technical field or related field or your medical degree, you don't want somebody without a degree doing surgery on you. But again, I wanna to talk to you about why life experience, in many cases, is so, many, so much more valuable than just real book education. Uh, so the classroom versus real life is what I'm talking about. And again, when you go to school, what school will allow you to do is it'll put you, it'll put things in a framework and it'll analyze them. <clears throat> and it's an experience which guides you to take decisions and make decisions and many times give you uh, uh, courage and confidence to make uh, decisive uh, decisions on certain things. But experience it teaches you how to apply learning to produce favorable outcomes. Regardless of any of the uh, framework or concepts you might've learned in school, experience really, really is the teacher and the mother of all learning. And after all, there's a reason why Albert Einstein said, the only source of knowledge is experience because knowledge and wisdom are two different things. Knowledge is information, wisdom takes experience, how to apply that information. I tell my kids all the time that preparation is separation. The work you've done in the past and the projects you've undertaken at your job or that belong to you specifically, that's relevant. That's a relevant experience in your life and it makes you stand out from the rest of the pack even if you choose uh, to go for a formal education, later you've always got this experience, real life experience, things that a classroom cannot teach you. And again, it gives you a different value. It's a differentiator for most people. And more than anything else, experience lets you design and develop your own story while the rest of the people stick to an old, really obsolete script at many times. The third thing experience allows you to do is it allows you to find yourself. It allows you to, to see who you really are. Uh, how many times have we heard people getting through with their education, getting a degree, 
only to realize that this was not what they were meant to do. This was not the path. This was not their purpose. And this is largely due to a lack of self-knowledge and knowing who you are. And again, the most valuable contribution of life experience comes from a deep self-awareness that it gives to you. So again, don't underestimate this. Don't minimize this. The advantage of having worked on lots of different jobs in my past and learned about lots of different things allowed me to really learn about my strengths and my weaknesses and, and even areas in my life uh, that gives me insight about where my true passion really lies. And so for people wanting to find their purpose and find their passion, uh, getting some work experience in different areas, I think is a must. And I think we need to start teaching our children this. And the fourth thing is what I call IQ, EQ, and AQ. IQ is basically intellectual quotient. Basically just tells you how smart you are. EQ is emotional quotient. How do you deal with ups and downs and your feelings and working with people? And then AQ, I think is the most important. That's adaptability quotient. How are you gonna act on the way up? And how do you act on the way down? And employers want people to have realistic expectations about their job and what experience allows you to do, it allows you to learn about the everyday rea realities of working life and most importantly equips you with some of those transferable skills needed to success in, uh, to be successful in any area of your life. And the next thing experience allows you to do that I've really learned is that it allows you to network. It allows you to meet different people, different backgrounds, different mindsets. And again, while a college degree, and I have multiple of those, it might increase your opportunity to open a door or get your foot in the door somewhere. Experience gives you access to a huge, huge network of people who have been there and done that. And it allows you to follow the clues of successful people and steer far from the ones that have not been successful. So again, it gets you into a, a form of wisdom that only experience can give you. So when you're thinking about education, it is definitely important. I am not minimizing that. I am an educator. I am a teacher. Uh, but remember that real life experience and developing those transferable skills can take you into your passion. It can lead you to your purpose and it can help you be all that you were created to be. So as a parent, uh, as a teacher, I want to encourage you as you look at your child, as you look at your student, as you even look at your employees, go uh, into the mindset of, of challenging them to get as much life experience as possible and watch the doors fly open, watch the ideas flow, and watch the destiny come to light. And if you'll do that, I believe and declare that you will be all that you were created to be. So God bless you guys. Take care. I'll see you on the next video.